Hi, Samantha. Thanks for your question. Um, sorry about the late uh, posting of the video. We've been having some technical difficulties and they were just resolved. So um, let's go ahead and do a brief review of uh, perfect squares before we jump into trying to figure out whether these are perfect squares. So if something's a perfect square, it basically means I'm taking two numbers, let's say number A and number B, and I can add them together and square them. And if I do that, I'm going to get A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Or I can subtract them and square that, and I'm going to get A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. So with keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at this first expression. It looks like, hmm, I've got an a squared here and a b squared here and an a squared here and a b squared here. So if this is a perfect square, my a is going to be x and my b is going to be either 4 or negative 4, we're not really sure. And then let's compare the sign in front here. It looks like these both have a plus sign and this has a minus sign. So we know for sure that this is not a perfect square because if it was a perfect square, um, the a is always positive and the b squared is always positive. <clears throat> so this is not a perfect square. Okay, let's go ahead and compare the second one. If this is a perfect square, my a is going to be the square root of this first term here, 16x squared. So my a is going to be 4x. My b is going to be the square root of 9, which is 3. Okay, Let's compare signs. Does the b squared term have a plus in front of it? Yes, it does. Okay, we're okay. Does the a squared term technically have a plus in front of it? Yep, that's a positive 16, so we're good. And it looks like we have a negative in front of this one. So if this is a perfect square, then this is going to be um, what we're comparing it to. So let's double check. Since everything checks out, if this is a perfect square, it should be 4x minus 3 squared based on our equation above. So let's go ahead and FOIL out 4x minus 3. If 4x minus 3 squared is 4x minus 3 times 4x minus 3. So if I FOIL this, I'm going to get 16x squared minus 12x uh, minus 12x, looks like we're good so far, plus 9. If we simplify this, we're going to get 16x squared minus 24x plus 9, which is indeed the expression that we got before. So this checks out. It is a perfect square. Thanks again for sending your questions, Samantha, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.